Okay, this is good. So good. Anyways, what was I saying? So, what's up? Welcome to the Daily Grind. I'm your host, Ryan Beats. You got something special for the uh, DTF here. Let's go. Let's open it up one by one. Let's open a small one first, all right. So from my understanding, this one from Omniprint. I don't know why I bought this, but I did. <laughs> yeah, so this is an accumulation. Uh, let me see, let me just get, this is 2.2 pounds of powder. I bought, uh, one, two, let's see, one, two, okay. I bought a little over eight pounds worth of powder. Don't ask me why, but I did. I don't know. Let's put that aside. Ah, put your right But this is the real thing that we were gonna look at, okay? This is something that I felt really entitled or, or something important that I needed to get. Specifically, if I'm doing, if you're doing DTF, um, especially if you're doing DTF uh, with the oven like this, this curing oven. Let me show you guys. Boy, you can't see from there, huh? You want know me to bring this thing down? Okay. Um, another smoke purifier. Um, I got the the XF two hundred and fifty, which is the which is this one, has a double nozzle. Now, if you're wondering and asking why, why did I get this? And didn't you have one already? which I did, I got one from the whole deal with Omniprint. But looking, I've been printing for just a few days, right? But the times that I did print it, I've noticed that there are fumes coming out of the yin yang and everything else, right? So um, one hose is not gonna cut it. Um, one um, extractor, fume extractor, whatever you wanna call it, it's not gonna cut it. So, me putting it in the back and then putting it on top and then putting it in the front, I really don't have time to um, to manage that or time to actually make sure the the fumes are being sucked out. Now, um, I know you're saying, right? Why don't you just get a um, um, an exhaust, make it come out, go out the side of the house, or go into a fan and then blow it outside. Yes, I could do that, but um, the way it's set up, I, I technically don't have the means of doing that. Um, one way is to go up and straight out the side of the house there, like I did with that. I don't know if you guys remember, I did that with the, um, the fan there, um, but I don't want to drill another hole into the house or the side of the wall to the house. Um, that one was, was, was even a, a different story, but something I had to do, so I did that once. Um, I can get another hose, extract it out, get a fan, and do all that deal, but I haven't um, had the time to actually figure that out yet. I'm sure it's pretty easy. Just put a, a couple of inline uh, fans and extract it out. I could do that, but I ended up doing this instead. Um, so I, as you can see, this is the brand Vibor. Beaver, 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 whatever. Um, I did not go with the same brand that Omni sells because it's way too expensive. And this one has a double hose, so I can split the, the hosing situation. Yeah, so anyways, enough of the talking. Let's let's take it out of the box. 
All right. So um, you guys can see. Well, let me just take this thing. Let's take this thing out first. Let's lock it down so we can take it out. All right. This thing has the um, the filters. Got the hoses. Oh, this one's clear. Look at that. Power cord. IAC or EIC, whatever we call it. And you got your two hoses here. All right, this is it. There's the, the, the little dude, the F250. Um, it's the same um, size canister as the small one, I believe. I can't remember, but um, what, what cool thing about it is you, get, you can run one if you want, this thing has a little cap here, you can take the cap off. So let's go ahead and open this up. All right. So I like this a little better as far as the extraction. It's like three, three points, or not three points, three, three ways of, um, of getting the filter. So here's one filter. And here's the other filter. So if you look inside, it has the little foam in there. That's what this is. So when it gets dark and dirty, go ahead and just replace it. So we have one in there, right? If you guys are wondering what is it supposed to be for, it's for soldering, right? But you can use it for other things. Let's go ahead and install this thing. I like how they have this cap here. Again, you can go with one, but I'm gonna go with two. So it has an end here, see this end? And the other end is different. So this end goes in here. Like so, All right? Same thing on this end. Like so. Let's go put these weird little things here. One end, where's the other one? The other end. Best smoke, it says best smoking distance. 150 millimeters from smoking point. I don't know what 150 millimeters is, the inches. But whatever. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this one on this side, the single one. Over here. So one of the reasons why I got this, it has a bigger um, uh, extractor end to it, so it'll fit right over this thing. All right, let me show you what's going on here. So there it is, you guys can see. I got the one that, see this one's only a 150, so it's a single. I got the dual instruct. So this, this dual head is actually much cheaper than the single head. So if you wanna get another single head, it's definitely cheaper, but I got I opt out for the dual so I can get the front here, because I know I, I've seen it coming out of the front. Seen it coming back here, oops, coming out of here, and definitely there. So I covered all my three points. And like I said, I know you guys are saying, hey, Ryan, why don't you just open the door and have the fan blow out? Yeah, I could probably do that, but there are multiple times that I have the garage closed working. So, well, this will definitely help my health. You guys saw from the live video weeks ago, I got, it got pretty smoking and I got high off of it. <laughs> like I said, I'm at, I'm at my house, my family's here, and last thing I want is for them walking and breathing this stuff, you know, so a little safe precaution. Um, I'd rather do that. Yeah, because even if I have it coming out of here, this top end here, it'll still come out of the, each end. So what am I gonna do, right? So I think this is a better solution. For now, for now, but it is what it is. All right, let's go ahead and turn this thing on. All right, I don't know if you guys can see it. So there's the button, there's only one button, it says flow. So we'll hit it once. That's the low. That's the 
medium. That's the high. And the next one should turn it off. All right, cool. I think that should be good. Um, I'm gonna be playing around as far as the actual location, but where it is right now, it's a good spot for it. So, I think I'm pretty happy with it. Let me see here, got my fan blowing. DTF is turned on. But yeah, I am, this is pretty cool guys. I, I think I'm, I'm really happy with it, where it is. Because uh, the last couple of days when I was printing, man, I was getting a headache, extreme headache. So. I only notice that when I'm printing DTF, or not printing DTF, but when I'm curing DTF, especially in that little oven thing that I, I used to have here. Um, hopefully it's a little better, but I do have some samples. Let me show you guys what's been going on. Uh, I've been printing some samples for DTF for, for me to hand out to people. Um, well, I think this would be good. Let me see here and put this away. Trying to be organized here, but I'll have, I'll get all that stuff ready. But yeah, if you guys are interested in some DTF samples, um, stay tuned. Just just watch the just watch and follow the the video as the journey goes into DTF. Uh, well, my journey into DTF. Um, I'll let you guys know where and how to purchase these samples. Uh, if you guys can just help me out with shipping, that'll be awesome. I think that's and I think that's pretty reasonable. But anyways, let me give you guys a quick update. What's been going on? Um, I did, we did run another power from the, um, let me see, from the breaker. We, when I, when I say we, I say my father-in-law did most of the work. Um, we split these to dual instead of singles, right there. Run another conduit to this side. You guys can follow this, the second conduit. Right there, I came down, put a power here um plug there and have another i don't know if you guys can see but there's a junction box there and ran this extension power there that box see that box that's on his dedicated circuit and also we went that way and we did we put power separate power for my compressor which is back there and then a separate power for this area here so uh with that um, i should have plenty of power uh, i have a Dedicate 20 amp for the Omni DTF. That should be more than enough, even with the secondary um, extraction. I think I'm I'm roughly around. I think I'm about like 17 amps or something like that, which is which is super great, super super great, super great, super cool. I don't know. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Just keeping you guys an update of what's been going on with my journey with DTF, especially with the Omni DTF. I appreciate you guys for tuning in like subscribe and all that stuff i'll see you guys in the next one keep grinding peace out